Hi, I'm Motor Trend Pro Driver Randy Popst. Today, we're going to do an experiment. What happens when you take the Corvette's premium, high-performance Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's and throw on a set of cheap bargain basement tires instead? We're going to find out here on Willow Springs Raceway at speeds in excess of 140 miles an hour. I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous. The C8 Corvette is a whole new generation of Corvette, and it represents a big challenge for GM to keep the excitement of that name brand. That's a tough act to follow. Out back, it's big and brawny, and it's sharp. It's angular. It's aggressive. This car is not to be mistaken for anything else. Down the sides, that theme continues. Sharp, angular. There's a huge strake in the side. Strong styling statement, and guess what? Functional. It's an air scoop. I really like that. In fact, overall, this Corvette looks like a $200,000 supercar. Under the hood, it's got, oh, wait a minute. Under the deck lid, here's the LT2, looking like a Christmas ham coming out of the oven under glass. It's now making 495 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. The small block Chevy V8 is better than ever. And it's driving an eight-speed dual-clutch transmission with close ratios. It shifts quickly and smoothly and snaps off those gears, taking advantage of the power band in the V8. Underneath that is a Z51 sport suspension, probably my favorite feature on the car, adaptive magnetic ride control shocks. They are reading the road surface. They're almost like an active suspension, constantly adjusting for the mode that you have chosen, comfort, sport, or track. And undergirding all those performance components are the tires. And with the Z51 package, the Corvette gets some good ones. Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's, tuned specifically for the C8. It's a max performance, original equipment, low profile summer tire, made for exactly the kind of job we're doing here today. So here's what we're gonna do. First, I'll go out and set a lap on the Corvette's original high-performance tires. Then we'll swap out our set of super cheap rubber. I'll go back out and see what's the difference in performance. Let's hit the track. Nice balance. We got the track alignment on our C8 Corvette. True to form, it's putting the power down. Yep. towards the end of a corner. Woohoo! Don't have to slow down much for turn nine. <laughs> Feels good coming off nine. Shifts are smooth and the transmission's doing the right thing. Got a good track mode on the transmission. Wow, new Corvette, it puts the power down coming off a corner. It's really getting a lot of these Michelin Pilots 4S's. Now we're gonna put on an off-brand, inexpensive tire, and I'm gonna call up Matt Edmonds, CEO of Tire Rack, to find out what I should expect, what to look for. Hey, it's Randy Popes. How are things out there at my favorite track, Willis Franks? Well, I just got out of the Corvette C8, and it's fantastic on the Michelins, especially the traction. It comes off a corner so well. And we're gonna bolt on something else special, maybe not quite as high quality, right? 
We've got one of our uh, recommended mobile installers there to take care of you with a set of tier three, tier four tires. Right size, right load capacity, but may not have the engineering in them that you're used to with those Michelin tires. Yeah, the, the Corvette engineers actually work really closely with Michelin, right? Oh, they work hand in hand to develop that tire and tune it, you know, to get the absolute most out of the Corvette. As we've talked about before, having the right shoes on makes all the difference in the world. Well, be safe. Sorry I'm not there and, and uh, hope we don't see a cloud of dust. Oh boy, <laughs> me too. Thanks a lot, Matt, and thanks to Tire Rack. Well, we're gonna bolt up the inexpensive specials and hit the track. on the way in. Definitely loose around this long turn too. Very different corner balance on these inexpensive tires. <laughs> Whoa! Different deal, folks. More like rally driving on dirt. I'm having trouble keeping my foot down over turn six and the bumps. Definitely not trusting it through high speed turn eight. There's that kickback to the wheel. I feel it leaning on that outside rear tire. Kind of like a sprint car would on a dirt track. Still puts the power down going straight, I gotta say. Having come right out of the car on the inexpensive tires, I see three things right away. One, the inexpensive tire felt like it was slowing down rapidly, like it was losing grip rapidly compared to the premium tire Michelin. Two, the inexpensive tire changed the balance of the car from an understeer and a stability to oversteer and a tricky to drive instability. Three, the acceleration traction felt quite good even on the inexpensive tire. It was in the cornering where it became a real problem and a lot of work and I'm glad it's over and the car is still in one piece. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you next time.